Yo, what is going on guys? It's Cyber Horn 92 here. I'm here with who? Joseph or Supreme. Yo, and it's been a while. How you been, man? Yeah, I'm doing good. You know, it has been a while. Heck, like and uh, what day were you playing today for the Vegas Regional? Uh, for the Vegas Regional, I was playing Exodia. Ooh, the Exodia Obliterate deck. For sure. And what what, uh, what place did you came in today? Uh, I got 10th today at the Regional. Dang, yeah. It's okay. Hey, yeah. at least you made the top cut. Um, but next time you will get it. But yeah, you're playing different than everyone else, so I'm glad you're playing something different. Yep. All right, ready when you are, man. Yeah, so for the... Uh, Millennium Engine that you play in the deck, it's going to be 3 Heart of the Blue Eyes, 3 of the Monster Searcher, this searches your Fusion spell, and then this searches your Field spell. All these have the same effect that you can like put them from your hand to the Spell Trap Zone and then special them from the Spell Trap Zone by either paying 2k or revealing the Fusion spell Millennium Monk. Um, this also searches Millennium Monk, it's like one of the best cards in the deck now, it just got added. Uh, it acts like Princess. It searches Millennium Monk and then it's Princess Engraved to pop one of their bodies. Um, this guy searches a field spell. That's really important. Um, it helps you rotate a lot of your stuff. Um, this card lets you put a monster from your hand to the spell trap zone and then also a Millennium from your deck to the spell trap zone. That makes the Exodia pieces less of a brick because you, you can use them as a, like sort of Rota, um, which is really good. Um, you play two of that card, it's really good. Um, it helps you also just like link climb by just getting so many bodies from the deck. Uh, the best card in the deck, uh, Millennium Ankh. This card by itself generates a monster that goes to AK, a spell trap negate, and a Regeki for their whole board. It's just like a nuke. Um, all you have to do is play the best five cards in the game. <laughs> Let's go, Exodia. Uh, you reveal these guys from your deck, your hand, um, the face of field, and you can just fusion summon into the boss monster, who's a really good card. Um, to pair off, that's all of the Millennium cards. Um, we do play like some consistency spells to get to the field spell as well as to get to Secret Village. Your Exodia monster is a spellcaster, coincidentally. It's also a spell trap negate. Goes to AK, they can never get through it when you have the Rugeki. It's pretty nasty. Um, for the Exod spell or traps at the fusion searches at the end phase, I played two Rage. Honestly, I could see myself cutting this down to one sometimes. I do side it out most of the time when I'm going second. But it does come up at two sometimes if they like evenly your board or they just like, cyclone and go after it. You want another one set from the deck. Um, this card just allows for OTKs. You blow up their board on their end phase. You then uh, set this on your follow up turn. You give the, your Exodia the effect to pay half his life points. They show all spells and traps on the field. Equip five Exodia pieces and go attack for 10k. So you regeki their board. They have an empty board. Then their back row or you destroy your own back row and kill them for 10k. Dang, like one punch man. <laughs> one punch man. One punch man deck. Yep. Exodia obliterate. Um, for the hand traps, we played three ash, three shifter. Uh, this card is like one of your win conditions as well as the secret village. If you open that plus combo, the game's basically over for most decks. Um, and then three imperm to round off the hand traps. They're just the highest impact hand traps. This can be used as a back row to make your board better. Um, this is just surprise from hand, and then this shuts down some of the decks, so it's just really strong. Uh, you don't want to be like too heavy of a hand trap deck with this deck just because you want to consolidate the board down, link climb, destroy their bodies, and then hit them for 8k. Uh, I, instead of playing 3 talents, I ended up playing 2. I felt like sometimes it was bricky um, to play 3 of it. Sometimes they couldn't interact with their guys anyways since these guys move from the spell trap zone um, up to the field. Um, they can't be permed, they can't be bailered. They can only be ash, so sometimes talents becomes a little bit dead, but going second, it's really strong. Um, another consistency spell I played was Pot of Prosperity. Um, just allowed me to grab my side deck most of the time, or just grab Engine or Secret Village. It was just very tutorable. Um, and then lastly is the Angel Statue. You use it for part of the combo. Um, usually your end board ends on this, plus the Exod Speller Trap. Or sorry, Trap. Let's see it, this guy. So Regeki, Solemn Warning. You have the Fusion on board. This guy's a spell Trap Negate. Sometimes Secret Village, sometimes Shifter. You know, it's just grows and grows. It's really ridiculous. Um, for the extra deck, I was playing three of the Exodia. I never made three. Um, it's just nice to have like something to bash off Prosperity. And if you do go to a grind game, I guess the third one could come up. Um, but maybe something to cut. Uh, I played IP, never made this card today. Um, in theory, this card's really good with the Underworld Goddess. Um, I never made that either today, though. Um, a lot of times you're just like link climbing with nightmares and just breaking the board down and hitting them, so you don't really need this stuff. This card, you make every game you go first, or try to. Um, it just allows you to get Solemn Warning from deck, and then 
since Ankh shuffles your bodies back to the deck, you want to have something that sticks, and this set something that sticks um, while getting rid of itself. Uh, one SP, uh, made it a couple times a day, it doesn't really come up too often because again, you're just destroying your opponent. Um, but it's a good card. Uh, Cerberus, Phoenix, these guys are crazy. They're crazy, especially you get a draw off of them, they're just insane. They're, you're just cycling, you're searching random cards off the Millennium Engine, makes the discard fodder free, and then open up the way for Exodia to hit them. Uh, also the Earth Charmer, you use this to get back in after your Exodia dies. If you have Secret Village on board, you just summon your two Earth Monsters, make this, and you're live to use Ankh again. Uh, Sorcerer of Sebek, uh, again, this is like an in-theory card that it would be good, but it usually never does come up. Um, it has a, some effect that like if you do damage, um, you gain attack or something like that, and then you burn them for a thousand. It's just like close-off games, I guess. Uh, Selene um, and Axis Code. I always felt like I could make this package, but I would have to give up the Exodia piece from hand, and doing that just didn't allow you to resolve Ankh. And honestly, I don't really see myself making this ever. Um, there's not really much game states that you can out, so I don't know. You could cut this if you wanted to. Maybe for, honestly, I've been thinking about a rank 8 package, because sometimes you end on blue eyes and like a Senjin, um, and you could just make like the Gear Suzu. It'd be pretty cool. Uh, lastly, Nightmare Unicorn. I wasn't really playing it, I thought it was too unaccessible, but honestly, this clears anything in your way, again, allowing Exodia to kill you. Uh, for the side deck, I did play Free Dogwood. Um, so everyone thinks this is just like a time scam card, right? Like, just side it in when it's game three, you know? But in this deck specifically, since your Exodia gains attack equal to your life points, you can one punch over anything. If you just hit him with it mid game, like you could main this if you wanted to. Honestly, I just cited it as a time card while also being allowing me to do this. And um, um, just honestly, it's really cool to see it have like more applications in this deck than most decks. Uh, for some like just destruction, uh, Duster to help with the back row decks. I played against Lab and Rescue Race today, so it did come up. Uh, two Regeki. Uh, this card shouldn't have been in my side deck. I think it could have been like there can be, and maybe like Necker Valley as like a set rotation option. That would have been cool. Um, but the theory behind this is like again just clear the board, Exodia attack rate. Okay. <laughs> yeah, very simple, very monkey. You know we love it. Uh, three Dark Ruler. Uh, this card, insane. Like whenever I don't know what I'm playing against because I kill them so fast. Like I shift through them, they pass, I kill them. I just hide this in just in case. Uh, sometimes it comes up a lot. Sometimes it doesn't. Uh, it hurts you well if they don't set up the board correctly. Uh, I was on two shifter, I bumped it up to three. Cause sometimes the Tempai deck is really hard. There's a lot of random like fusion decks running around. Um, this card's just pretty good overall. Uh, lastly, this card's so broken. Like this card's just so good still. Like I know a lot of people make the Azmin in the gates, but at the end of the day, like once you interact with them a few times, this leaves them open. You hit them with this, you summon a couple of pieces, and you just win the game. But yeah, that was the last thing. And uh, this is a uh, 40 card school? Uh, there was 41 cards. 41. Today. Why yeah. is this winning number? Has yeah, exactly, you know. And before ending this video, uh, what to say, congrats on getting 10 place. Next time you will uh, crush the bubble. Yep. And uh, you want to give any shout outs, by the way? Uh, yeah, I want to shout out Top Choice Gaming. You know, they're a great uh, store. Yeah. They're up in Redlands, California, right Check now. Check them out, guys, when, if you guys are in California. Yep, definitely. Yeah, we have locals on Wednesday, Friday to pull up. You know, a good group of guys over there uh, and girls. Um, but. Yeah, shout out them, shout out the circle, shout out the people I drove today. Had to play someone I drove round one. Oh, happens. Yeah, uh, but shout out Vegas for hosting. Tag. Shout out Robin. Tag. Your voice up for night two is signed out. Yep. <laughs>